Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup, where we break down the latest music industry news. Today, we're diving into a legal battle that's brewing between Nelly and his former group, the Saint Lunatics. Nelly is facing a lawsuit from his longtime collaborators over uncredited work on his iconic country grammar album. And there's a lot to unpack here. Let's break it down. On September 18th, Nelly's former group, the Saint Lunatics, filed a copyright infringement lawsuit against him in New York federal court. The group, Ali, Murphy Lee, Kaiwan, and Nelly's brother, City Spud, claims they were not properly credited for their contributions to the 2000 Country Grammar album. They argue that they played a significant role in the writing and publishing of the tracks, but didn't receive proper recognition or compensation. Considering how big Country Grammar was in shaping Nelly's career, this lawsuit could have major financial and reputational implications. This lawsuit isn't coming out of nowhere. One of the group's members, Ali, has been vocal for a while about his falling out with Nelly. Back in 2023, he made it clear in an interview with Vlad TV that he would never perform with Nelly again due to money disputes. According to Ali, Nelly owes him tens of thousands of dollars. He mentioned receiving a check for $13,000 when Nelly allegedly owed him much more, around $90,000 or more. Ali also expressed his frustration over Nelly's lack of communication and transparency regarding payments. Ali's frustrations go beyond money. He's been critical of Nelly's intentions and the way he's handled relationships within the group. Ali feels that Nelly has always prioritized his own success, which created a divide between him and the other members of the Saint Lunatics. He even mentioned in the same interview that he wouldn't hit the stage with Nelly again, calling it a never ever situation. Ali's main point? Nelly may have made $50 million from selling half of his music catalog earlier this year, but that success didn't benefit the people who helped him rise to fame. To give you a bit of perspective, Country Grammar was a massive success. It sold over 10 million copies and helped put Nelly on the map. The Saint Lunatics were heavily involved in shaping that sound. Songs like EEI and Ride With Me were not only Nelly tracks, but collaborative efforts. So you can see why the group feels that their contributions should be properly recognized, especially after all these years. In conclusion, this lawsuit marks another chapter in the tense relationship between Nelly and the Saint Lunatics. While Nelly's success is undeniable, it's clear that the group feels left out when it comes to credit and compensation for their work on country grammar. We'll have to wait and see how this lawsuit plays out in court and what impact it may have on Nelly's legacy. Thanks for watching. If you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the latest updates from the Red Carpet Rhea. Let us know in the comments, do you think the Saint Lunatics deserve more credit for country grammar?